Welcome back, everyone. It's Thursday. Put on your smart hat. Steve. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean you, by the way. <laughs> say Steve Crawford, <laughs> first vice president. Jenny Montgomery Scott is here for a weekly look at finance. Welcome, Steve. Thanks, Jesse. Uh, let's, I, I, I want to uh, start with something that I read this morning that I wasn't exactly sure I understood. Mm. It was in reference to the U.S. Treasury. Now, their fiscal year is October to October, not the January uh, calendar fiscal, right? Okay. Uh, but they're, if they're saying 11 months in, they're marking a budget deficit that shrank 22%. Okay, right, right. I, I'm not quite sure I understand what that means. Well, so, so we're still running a budget deficit, but what we're running is we're running less of a deficit. So the economy is growing. We're bringing mm -hmm. in, the, the U.S. Treasury is bringing in more tax revenue. So think of it like a teeter-totter. The, the revenue is going up. Well, the expenses are staying the same, but we're more able to afford it, so the budget deficit's going lower. Okay. So we're about as, almost as good as we were in 2007. We're running about 2.8, 2.9%, and I think 2007, we're running a little over 1%. Well, that's got to be good news then, right? It is, it is. That's it's a, right. it's a, a gradual progression, higher note, and uh, we'll take it. All right, jobless number for this past week was not that encouraging. Well, you know, it, it, it doesn't change the overall longer term perspective. I right. think the longer four week moving average is still pretty consistent. It was 15,000 higher. The unemployment number was worse than expected. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it throws a monkey wrench in the overall, uh, our overall projections where we need to be. Well, you know what? You always talk about uh, long term. I don't know how you keep track of this stuff because it always seems to be so volatile. It could be world events. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, a question for you, uh, uh, Albany area, we have a job expo coming in. This area continues to be, is it bucking the trend? Is it creating the trend? Mm. What, what's your perspective on that? You know, we, we've talked a lot in the last couple of years, Jesse, about the eclectic mix of our job base here in right. upstate New York, Warren, Washington County, Saratoga, Albany, this area. We, we have a huge college base. We have obviously the, the government jobs, you know, the, mm -hmm. the state jobs here. Um, but we've also tourism and, and, you know, one of the other things that's been starting to thrive in the last couple of years is the technology. So, you know, talking about the job fair on Monday, you know, the, bringing people in from technology fields that typically you thought were more Texas or California. Mm -hmm. And here we're having a technology fair, you know, earlier in the week that brought in all sorts of talent that we're not typically used to seeing in upstate New York, mm -hmm. typically more traditional manufacturing. So right. it was good. You know what we're involved, as you know, uh, with a... Uh, project with the Ballston Spa School District where we're highlighting students participation in learning about the world of technology mm. and not necessarily about computers but it could be clean water clean air sure you know uh, all kinds of very interesting things yeah. and to see these young people with that opportunity to experience something firsthand when they're younger mm. builds the sort of habits within them right that they want to pursue these careers and these yeah. careers are available yeah. in, in this marketplace. Yeah, technology f falls into all market segments, right? You talk right. about green energy, alternative right. energy, you know, water quality, and everything else. Computer right. science is the medical field. So it's pretty broad and diverse, and we're a part of that. Well, we are. You know, uh, to sort of accommodate this, uh, we got an announcement today. It was made in Glens Falls hmm. that Saratoga developer Sonny Bonaccio is going to build quite an urban project up there. Mm -hmm. It's going to, uh, very similar to the one he did in downtown Saratoga, that was a mix of retail, restaurants, with a lot of apartments. Mm. Uh, trending in the apartment world, mm. it always seems to be a trend now to move into really nice apartments as opposed to maybe wanting to even own your own home. Kind of a yeah. European model, right? Well, we're springboarding. I think 1950s, right. people came back from the war, they bought smaller homes. I think the demographic now, the Generation X, the Millenniums, they're renting. Mm -hmm. They're saving while they're renting, and then they're mm -hmm. making the leap to buying a home. So I think Sonny very intuitively has picked up on that demographic shift. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we've seen wonderful projects here in Saratoga, now taking advantage of what's available in Glens Falls. I think it'll be, it, it's something that's timely and needed. Well, you know what? When a developer of his caliber starts moving north, mm -hmm. then you realize that there's, there has to be a lot of potential there. You know, and Ed Bartholomew, who's the head of the Economic Development Corps, was our guest on Beyond the Headlines, which is going to air in the coming week. Mm -hmm. He had a lot of very positive things to say about Warren, Washington County, mm -hmm. primarily Warren County, you know, in terms of growth, in terms of Lake George Village, in terms of the airport, and, yeah. and points north. Yeah, it, it's a confirmation, right? We talked about this a year and a half ago, the, the, the groundwork, the seeds that were being laid by some right. of the professionals, some of the people that had insight in the community. And, 
and now we're being able to measure it. We're now we're seeing the effects of it. So yeah, I'm I'm encouraged. Um, just two more things mm. I, I'd like to ask you. Apple announced that they're bringing oh, out the Apple yes, Watch. Yes. So they didn't <laughs> call it the iWatch. Do you think that has anything to do with Big Brother? You know, iWatch, you? I, it's <laughs> funny you say that because, you know, the iWatch was the logical name Logics, for it, right? right? Yeah. But, you know, maybe with the NSA and everything else, and, you know, it's, it's probably not a good idea. But, you know, you know me. I'm a big iPhone you person. I've had stuff, every iteration right? of no. it. I've used technology all the time to try to simplify mm -hmm. and stay on top of things. This watch is neat. I had a calculator watch way mm -hmm. back when in, in the mm -hmm. 80s. And to see this watch to be able to track your health, your blood pressure, you know, exercising, you know, pedometer, being able to, to use it for, you know, being able to use mm -hmm. it to switch your phone, being able to go to a hotel room and open up your, your door in your hotel room that way. There, there's uses and features in this phone is incredible. And there's one feature that it doesn't have. It doesn't oh. tell time. Yeah, hey, we've got yeah, the time. Okay, so. It's in there somewhere. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not no, readily apparent. But you have to go through the menu yeah, to try yeah. to figure it out. <laughs> Uh, so, so Steve, exciting. one other thing, a little yeah. offbeat for us to talk about. Uh, today, we're talking about the anniversary of 9-11, right? And I think to myself, in terms of seminal events that have happened in history, this one, of course, will be is etched in everyone's memories for, the, uh, for, for life. Mm -hmm. uh, does, is it, does it have an effect on the stock market? Does it have an effect in the people that you deal with? What a, yeah. What's it like? You know, it's a, that's a really interesting question because I've had a lot of conversations with people in the last, you know, 24, 48 hours. I think people's consciousness have changed. Their sensitivities mm. have changed. We've become numb to certain words. Right, certain things true. don't phase us like they did 13 years ago. But probably the biggest thing I'm seeing about the markets now, which not necessarily are, are directly attributed to 9-11, but certainly has changed since 9-11, is our global consciousness. Mm. We were, as a nation, back in you know 2001, um, very much aware of what's happening in the U.S. You know, mm. we, yes, the Balkans were going on. Now you think people are much more aware yeah. Globally, what's going on? Oh, I, 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 I agree with you. Yeah. All right. Well, Steve, thanks for coming in. Jesse, always fun. And uh, we'll catch up to you next Thursday. Look forward to it. Got it. To see this interview again, please head to our website, looktvonline.com. Now, let's take a look at events in your neighborhood.